Good day, class. Good day, class. You are once again welcome to our YouTube channel. Here is Miss Price TV. Please, I will be taking you through how to cut a jacket or a suit. Ramata, let's start our measurement. Please, we will be needing the following measurement. Our chest measurement, um, our wrist measurement, our seat or our head measurement, our cross back measurement, and that of our shoulder to wrist measurement. So let me start by, please make sure you get a straight line on the surface of your fabric. Then you take 1.5, this 1.5 inches is a constant number, take note. This 1.5 inches is a constant number. So I'll take 1.5 also here. And I'll roll my straight line. Please, on this 1.5, I will take half an inch down this way. Half an inch on the first line. Have an inch. Now do the same thing here. Please take note this 1.5 is a constant number. It doesn't affect the length of the jacket. Right, so there is, that is that. Then I'll take my full length measurement by starting from this 1.5. I'm using length 29 inches and I'll add two inches folding allowance or hemming allowance now I'll do the same thing on this side also 29 inches two inches folding or hemming allowance then I'll square across please if you are new here Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever such amazing video like this is being posted. And after getting this, then you take your chest line measurement. Please, for the chest line measurement, you divide your bicep or around arm into two plus 1.5 I'm taking it again for the chest line measurement you divide your around arm or bicep into two plus 1.5 I'm using around arm 13 inches 13 divided by 2 will give me 6.5 then I'll plus 1.5 I'll add 1.5 to make it 8 inches so I'll make, uh, sorry, I'll mark my 8 inches here, this way. Please take note, the chest line and that of the waist line will start from our half inch line here. The, this first line is our back. We will be starting our back from this first line. And this second line, the half an inch, will be our um, front line. So take note of that. So I'll be starting the chest line and that of the waist line measurement from they have an inch, that, of, that is our, our front line. All right, then I'll mark my shoulder to waist, which is, I'm using 15 inches. And I'll do the same thing on this side, eight inches, 15 inches. Then I'll square across. So that is that for this. Please, let's calculate for the box frame that um, you will be working in. The box frame. So for the box frame, your chest measurement, please take note. This number is added when uh, you are working with two bent suits. Take note. When you are working with 
only one bent uh, suit. The figure is different. All right, I will, I will give it out. We are working with one um, bent suit. The figure is eight inches. But when you are working with two bent suits, please, the figure is 13 inches. So, my chest is 37. Please pick your calculator. My chest is 37. I'm using chest 37. 37. 37 plus 13 will give me 50 inches. Then I'll divide the 50 inches into two for my box frame. I'm taking it again. Your chest measurement plus 13 inches. Then you divide it into two for your box frame. So before that, let me take 1.2 here. Then I'll take 1.2 here. I'll take some for my um, Bottom extension. So let me do this line before. All right. Then I'll start my 25 inches from that line. 25 inches. 25 inches on this side also, just to get a straight line. Then I'll do a straight line on this side also. So please, we are working within this box frame. Let's take note, both our back, our side piece, and out of our front. All right, so I'll start with my back. I'll start with my back. I'll divide my across back into two, or my shoulder to shoulder measurement into two. I'm using 17 inches. For that matter, 17 inches, Divided by 2 will give me 8.5. Then I'll mark it here. Then I'll add half an inch sewing allowance. So 17 divided by 2, 8.5 plus half an inch sewing allowance. Then I'll do the same thing on this chest line. 8.5. Please, the across back by two, you divide across back by two, then you take half an inch away. That half an inch will serve as sewing allowance. Then, on this connection, you can use your, how do you call it, your straight ruler. You can use your straight ruler or you can use your French care. Uh, before that, let me take. The same measurement on this side, eight and a half, half an inch. Then I will slope from this first line, please, from this first line, 2.5 inches this way. And I'll connect this to that of this half an inch with my kef. This half an inch will serve as soon as ones. Then on the next line, I will take three and a half inches. Please take note. Three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. Then I will connect this to my my shoulder slope this way. Can you use your straight ruler? I like using my cap. Then for the depth of our neckline, I'll be using one inch. So I'm, I'm, I'll be using 1.2. Let me use 1.2. 1.2. Then you can also use the, use the one inch. I'll do the same thing here. I'll curve it with my free hand. This way. Curve it with my free hand this way. 
That is that. Then on the waistline, I will take half an inch inward like this. Half an inch inward like this. Then I will take 2.5 inches above the chest line. And I'll connect this half an inch to my 2.5. And connect this half an inch to our down section. Then I will divide my waist into six. Please take note. I'm using waist 30, 30, 31. So 31 divided by six will give me 5.1 5.2 I've run it 5.2 so I'll mark my 5.2 here and I'll add my half an inch sewing allowance then on this folding line I will take my across back which is 17 divided by 2 will give me 8.5 then I'll mark inward 1 inch or I'll deduct one inch. Then I'll connect all my points together. Please, you can use your straight ruler. You don't have French curve. And you know, I said, this neckline measurement, the 3.5 you took here, then you add 1.5 to it to make it five inches. Then you mark it this way. Then you take the measurement for this shoulder slope. I have six inches, and I'll mark my six inches also. I'll do the same thing here five inches, six inches. Then I will rule all my lines together. Please make sure all your lines are straight. So after getting this, all what you need to do is, on this um, second line, please now, we are not using the first line again. Take notes. We are not using this line again. We are now using the second line for all the measurements. On this line, I will take my 2.5 down. 2.5 down as my shoulder slope. Then I will connect this this point to that of this. So that is that. Then on this side, on this chest line, I will come inward two inches here, two inches down. Now do the same thing just to get an angle. And I'll connect this to this. Then I'll divide this into two. I'll divide this line into two. And I'll come inward 0 0.4 this way. And leave it there. Then I will take um 1.7 away from our armhole line and mark my pocket. I'll be using 4 inches for this exercise. 4 inches. Please, you can take it straight. You can make it straight or you can slant it towards the armhole. But I like using the straight one.
Alright. Then I'll take where my pocket will fall. I'll be using 20 inches for this exercise, which is 4.5 away from our waistline. Then I will divide this pocket into two, four into two. It's resting on this line. Then I will, I will take my dart from there, four inches. Let me take it again. Four inches. All right. Then I'll come down two point five inches away from the pocket. This way, and this will serve as my dart. So I'll I will take half an inch inward this way for the pocket, half an inch here. Then I will take six inches for this person, six inches. That is there for the pocket. And I will divide, I will divide the whole length into three. So 29 divided by three. 29 divided by three. 29 divided by 3 will give us 9.6. So let me use 9.5. Then I'll mark my 9.5 this way. And I'll take 3 inches. So I'll three and a half for my second buttons. Then I'll go up half an inch and my lapel will start from there. Divide the hole into 3. And you mark it as your first buttons. Second, then you mark second buttons. You can ignore this one. Then you use use only one button. And then you, you do your roll line. Before we can do our roll line, we need to take 0 0.7 inches here. From this line, you take 0 0.7 inches this way. Then you come down 1.7. On this side, you come down. 2.7 take note 1.7 2.7 then you connect so before that let me connect this to this mark here you connect this 0 0.7 to your break point to get your rule line you connect this 0 0.7 to your break point this way to get your rule line so that is that then you stand on this mark and mark in 0 0.7 also here and you connect this 0 0.7 to the actual neckline just through a straight line this way and on this you mark so you take your measurement again to, to verify 0 0.7 sorry 1.7 and you connect the 1.7 to this mark this way then please, if you are working with a notch um, collar, just take the wideness of your, uh, your pair and that is, then you connect it and that is that. But if you are working with a peak collar, you take 2.5 from this mark here and you take your peak measurement. So for this one, I'll be working with peak collar. I like um, using peak collar. Then I will take 2.7. Please, this line don't actually have um, a way of doing it. It will depend how how slangly you want it to be. So please take note. Averagely, I will be doing mine this way. Then I will connect it by using my French curve. I'll connect from my break point to this 2.7 and this measurement is not a constant number please you can go more than this or less than this i want my lap my lapel to be a little bit cute the more you extend it, this line the larger you get your lapel to be all right so take notes 
And if your friend's calf is not giving you the kind of shape or the kind of calf you want, you can use your free hand, please. I'm quite okay with my friend's calf here. Then after working with this side, I will take my full chest measurement this way. I will take the measurement from this mark to this. I have, what do you call it? 7.7. .7. Please, we are, we, are, we are taking the measurement without this soon allowance. Take note. So I have 7.7 .7 here. And I will continue my 7.7 .7 from this first mark. And I'll take my chest measurement. I'm using chest 37. 37 divided by 2 will give me 18.5. Then I'll add 2.5 inches sewing allowance. This allowance is will take for the allowance on this side. Our that allowance. Allowance on this side also. So let's take note of that. You can make use of two. Or more than that, depending on how you want it. But I'll, I'll be using 2.5 inches. Then I'll do the same thing on my waistline. I'll take the measurement from here to this side. I have 5.2 that allowance. Then I'll continue my 5.2 from our straight line here. I'm using waist, waist 31, 31 divided by 2 will give me 15.5, then I'll add my allowance, I'll add my 2.5 allowance, then I'll come to my seat here, please, this measurement, normally you can use the chest measurement for that exercise, or you can take the person's seat measurement. For that matter, for this one, I'm using the chest measurement. I have 7.5. And I'll continue in my measurement. 37, 18.5. Then 2.5. Serving allowance. So that is that for this. Then I'll connect it this way. Please, on this side, you will come up one inch, take note, then when you come up one inch, do the same thing to the back, just to match the lines together. Then the back will extend to this side, to extend to this side, then it matches this side piece, alright. And now here I can quickly connect my armhole this way. Please, if you don't have French care, you can carefully curve it. Alright. If you have the French care, please kindly make use of your French care just to get a nice care for the work. Connect it this way. Can you see? So if you are finding difficult to use the French curve, please kindly use your free hand for the curve. Try to get a nice curve for the armhole. So that is that. That is that. 
for this so soon. Then let's take out our side piece from our front. Let's separate it. We will take half an inch from this line, half an inch inward this way. Then on this side, you will take 1.5 inches and connect this mark to this half an inch. So there is our side piece for this person. Then on this, I will take 0 0.4 here, 0 0.4 here, and I'll create my dots resting on the pocket. So that is that. And at a uh, down section here, I will take 1.5. Or I'll use this. I'll take 1.5 this way. And I'll use my curve. Connect this to this with your curve. Or you can use your ruler then to curve it. You curve it. You don't have an edge curve. So that is the size. You can use your free hand. That is that. This, that fact. Working on the dance session here, you take your vent. Please, average with the vent is nine inches for this length, but I'll be using, I'll be matching the, uh, the vent with the pocket this way. So I'll divide this hole into two. Please, if yours is more than four, can you take two inches on this side, two inches on the, on the other side, or 1.5 on each side? Let me use 1.7 here, another 1.7 here. Then I'll do the same thing on this side also. That is that for our vent, and that is also that for our suit. I'm done with my suit. Let me cut it out for you to see. Let me cut it out for you to see. That is how the cutting will go. Please take your time. Please don't throw this piece away. Take note of that. Let me let me pin mine down. Don't throw it away. That is how it was. You see? Don't throw it away. I'll use it for the color.
please make sure you give a slight um, slip or not at the chest line around the armhole here. Alright. We're using this to fix our sleeve. Please make sure you follow the line carefully. Just make sure you take the dart, the dart out carefully. Make sure you take the dart out carefully. Please take your time when cutting. Because you made a mistake, that is all. Can't do anything about it again. And on this side, it is how I'll do the cutting. I'll add a piece of concern at the back here. So that is that for, for the cutting. That is that for our cutting. 